please, drum roll, please. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. We are live with the three musketeers. We're going to be talking about is your sales strategy out of date? And I would wager that most of you are operating from a sales paradigm that is probably 50 years old. If you are still thinking that sales is being produced today like Mad Men, right, you're completely missing the boat. Even if you thought about how sales was done 20 years ago, with the, have you seen these opt-in forms where you put your email address and you get an ebook? That's a 20-year-old strategy. And that doesn't work either. So what does work? That's the question we're going to be answering tonight. Peter Wolfing is a multi eight figure earner on multiple platforms. And Cyril is a multi seven figure earner, maybe even eight figures. I don't know. And he's doing a product launch this morning. And we're going to be talking about why the sales strategy has changed. So, mm -hmm. so Peter, you're the, the master of ceremonies and the, the sales genius. Why do you think the sales strategy has changed uh, since the last 50 years? Well, I, I think with the, the, the advent of the internet and uh, all the different things happening on the internet, things are changing so rapidly. And like you said, people are using outdated um, modes of uh, presentation and so on. But really, my... Uh, really go to is here right so people are running on windows 95 up here when they haven't upgraded their brain right they're still running on old ways of thinking and and they haven't gone to the latest uh reprogramming of thought patterns and so on in their mind so they're still running way old stuff so they have to be able to update their thinking rewire their thinking to what's happening now because it's so hard for um right now people to keep up with the pace of society Right, with it's happening at such a rapid pace that it's as human beings we weren't meant to be able to uh, think that fast to change that fast. It was meant to be incremental over time. So I think a lot of people are still stuck on these old ways of doing things because they just haven't been able to assimilate the newer stuff. But also because there's so much there's a, there's a plethora of garbage out there. Right, there's there's fast food information. Right, and not quality information that we get here in intentional mentoring. There's all this, this stuff out there you can't, how do you decide what's good quality and what's not? How do you decide with from people who are, who are really giving you juicy, good quality, high density information and other people that are giving you crap, right? Um, and so it's it's tough because there's so much information thrown at us all the time that we have this, well, I said, Vic, last week we talked about uh, lack of focusitis, you know, the, uh, the disease of our time that we're, we're diversifying so much with so many different things. We can't focus on any one thing because there's so much stuff that um, it becomes a big problem. So what we're trying to do here with intentional mentoring is give you quality information and introduce you to people that have walked the walk, talked the talk, they do it, they're making the money and they're they're acting right, right now with stuff they're doing right now. And we're gonna pass that information on to you with what's working, not last year, but right now, okay? And we have a special guest on here today that's doing that. Yeah, and he's one of the most successful marketers on the whole internet, in, in my opinion, but he also has his heart in the right place yeah. because he really cares about the product. Mm -hmm. So you see so many people out there, I call them newbie predators. They, they, they get these people with stars in their eyes and they try to sell them a $997 course that they know that they won't even open. They will probably go through the first two lessons and then they'll be on to the next thing. That's the opposite of Cyril. Cyril creates products. He invents software. He has, uh, I don't know, many, many employees that support his customers. And he's built up a business in India that is supporting many people all over the world. I've been a customer of his since 2013 when I bought his YouTube ranking software. And uh, I just want to introduce you to my friend He's, he, you know, he calls himself your friend on internet marketing, Cyril G. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you, Victor. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to talk to everyone. And uh, that's an awesome introduction. Uh, it's all the things I aspire to be. I call myself your best friend in internet marketing. And yeah, I've been actually making software since 2012, December for the internet marketing industry. I've been a programmer since a long, really long time. 
so yeah, Victor, I guess you were one of my first customers. So really happy to join you and Peter today on this show. And like Peter said earlier, it's it's important to do what works today because the tr strategies that were tried and tested earlier, things are evolving, things are changing, people have moved on, people want new different things. So it's time to talk what works today. Yeah, yeah the, and, the and, algorithms, you know, what, the, the what algorithms change today, all the time, right? Our courses, okay? We just, I mean, I gave you the answer, but let's face it. Um, I, I want to tell a true story. I, I go to uh, an Irish coffee shop and it turns into a bar <laughs> a little bit later. And a bunch of us are friends. We all meet there for a beer after work and we kind of hang out. And I was sharing um, an online course that I found on the immune system. I just said the name of the person, and this is to a non-technical crowd, right? These are people at a bar. I just said the name of the person, they went to that person's website, they found the course, they registered for the course, and I got a text the next day. They said, Vic, thank you so much for recommending that course. I feel much wow. better now. I feel a lot more safer. I kind of have a path. You know, it's with a doctor who's giving people assurance about the crazy world that we live in, how to protect yourself, how to boost your immune system. I'm not an expert on the immune system. This guy is. So if you have something you're an expert on, it's your duty right now to share it with the world, right? Mm -hmm. And don't make the mistake I did. I created my first course in 2011 and I did it on a platform that is no longer around anymore, right? My friend uh, created the platform. I bought the product form for a thousand dollars, but that platform went through some changes. It went through an acquisition that platform's no longer around. And so nobody can buy my course anymore because I put it on someone else's platform with its own hosting. So when you create a course, you, you apps, I, I swore to myself, I'm never going to do that again. So I, um, I'm a programmer and I said, you know what? I'm not going to put my courses in somebody else's platform. I, it has to be hosted in my own domain. So it's under my name. It's under my platform. I can control it. If I want to monetize it, I want to be able to do that myself. But that cost us tens of thousands of dollars to create the course. Well, what if you don't have ten thousands of dollars? That's where Jeet comes in, right? He's created a program that instead of like everybody else, he's trying to, you know, if you go to Teachable, let me just call the big, the big, the big kid on the block is Teachable. Teachable is $30 a month for the basic with no features, $99 a month with limited features and 249 a month, a month, right? And here's the thing. Um, I, I also recommend a, a tool called Shopify and I do lots of Shopify, especially on Facebook. I visited Shopify headquarters in San Francisco and um, went to one of their trainings and I, I talked with them and I said, by the way, how long on average does it take for someone from the time they buy Shopify until they finally launch their online store. And they said, oh, about nine months. Oh. I said, nine months? <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you're paying <laughs> $30 a month for some online platform for nine months before you finally finish creating your course or your mm -hmm. store, mm -hmm. right? And they know that. And these business models are based around a year, right? Mm -hmm. So my friends just i think I, I i can't i almost don't even want to say it but right now he's selling his software for one time payment of 39 dollars. i mean come on 39 dollars. buy the software install it on your web server create your own course mm -hmm. that's that's where he's coming from of course you need more than that but um what i want to emphasize is that if you are a course creator, what you want to be doing is creating an online course, okay? 
So I think um, he, he may have disconnected, but uh, thank you uh, for coming on. Let's move into the PowerPoint. Uh, before I do that, Peter, do you want to emphasize how important it is to have an online course? Well, yeah, it's the main thing is that you, if you don't think you have something to be able to teach to people, you're wrong because you're always, you're going to be better than someone else. Right. And, and the many courses I've seen, people have sold thousands of courses and I look at some of the, the productions that they've done. They're sitting at their kitchen table. They're talking about average things and they've sold thousands of courses. I, I look at it like I could do that. I can do that, <laughs> you know, and you could do the same thing. So you always can have something that you can teach to other people, something that you like, even a hobby. But the, the easiest thing is always a digital product of information of something that you can teach someone about something online. OK. And yes, the course is online, but something digital is, is very, very simple to be able to put together. You can come up with something yourself. You can teach something or you get private label right products and then you augment that and, and embellish that with your own flair. So it is really not that difficult to be able to do that. And by using his product and make it simple, easy to use and you can knock it out and be able to publish something on your domain. You control it. You control the price and it's yours. And for 39 bucks, you can't beat it. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that price is only going to be for a few more hours. And okay. uh, so so we'll probably have to slice that out. But we're not here to sell you the software right now. What we want to do is just enroll you in the possibility that you can create a course. And the way I look at it is get the knowledge you need. Start now. And the nice thing about it is like I bought uh, – the, the predecessor to this product that Jeet made a year ago, right? A year ago. And I can tell you uh, that it is massively improved since a year ago when he first created the product. So, uh, welcome back, Jeet. I, I, I thought you dropped off because I was rambling too long. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, actually, I don't know what there is. There seems to be an internet issue. So, I, I missed some of your amazing insights. I'm sorry. Uh, but I hope uh, the internet is going to be smoother now and I will be able to participate better. Yeah, I was saying is that, that people buy these things like they buy funnel builders, they buy Teachable, they buy Jobby. They spend $100, $200, $300 a month and then they don't actually launch the product for nine months because it's like a baby, right? <laughs> You have to buy. Good good <laughs> you have to buy. You, you have to put some time into it. Yeah. And so, what I love about your program is it's not just about the course. You have education. You have training. You even have done for you courses that you've made that you're giving to people that they can start to monetize as their own. So, I just want to give the camera to you for a few minutes. I know you're going to sleep. It's the middle of the night there. But can you just explain to people why it's so important? that they get started now with creating a course that really, I mean, I, I, I have to confess, I launched a free course like three weeks ago and I already had 1300 leads from that course. I mean, wow. there is no better way to generate leads on the internet period than using Facebook, Facebook ads, YouTube, YouTube ads, and sending them to a course because a course is not put seen in the bad way that opt-in pages are. I mean, if you try to send Google ads to a opt-in page, many cases you will be denied the ad these days because they don't, they just don't want, it looks scammy, <laughs> right? But if you have an online course, of course you have to register for the course. It doesn't look or be perceived as uh, it looks real, right? So um, let me let me pass the camera to you, and maybe you can explain a quick summary of your webinar this morning, which I'm also going to put all the links to the replays below this video. How you can get access to that? Don't worry about it. I already have your email address, right? Peter and I have over 100,000 email addresses. That's not the problem. We just want you to stop paying attention to these other people that are telling you 50-year-old marketing sales strategies or 20-year-old opt-in email strategies that don't work anymore. And if you're still doing that, stop. Just stop. Listen to Cyril for a minute 
Take away, Cyril. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. Thank you. And uh, well, I was uh, talking about this issue just hours ago at, at, in a webinar that I was doing for Course Funnels, and you were there. So uh, I think we shared quite a lot of uh, to and fro. We had a lot of good conversation about this. So now you, you made a very good point in the beginning, right in the beginning, that people are trying to use marketing strategies that are 20 years old or 50 years old, and they are not working. Now, the reason why they're not working, as I have noticed in my marketing, is because people are overexposed. Now, there, is, there was a study about ads on uh, Google and ads on the websites that you visit. And now, uh, according to that study, people just don't visit these, uh, just don't notice these ads. You know, like if you're visiting a website, you just don't notice the ad, a little banner on the sidebar and, the, and you know, things like that. To, to, to actually combat that, you had people trying to get people to opt in. But typically what people have been doing and they've been taught to do is create a little PDF which, uh, which has some information about the things that you want to share or have a cheat sheet and try to get the lead on the basis of that PDF. What's happening is you find this nearly everywhere you go. So just go to any random blog, go to any website, and you will find a pop, pop in opt-in box popping at you and disrupting your uh, experience and telling you that, hey, get this, put in your email ID and get this PDF right now, get this guide right now. Sadly, people have tried this and now there are two reasons this is not working so well number one people perceive this as the low value people think okay it's a pdf i have a ton of these in my hard disk right now another one is not going to change my life and the reason why that's not happening is because people don't consume things the same way anymore now that bandwidth is so popular uh, bandwidth is so easy people want to consume online information online in form of videos that's why youtube is the number one website right now because it doesn't ask people to read and understand it just appeals to every single sense you can see information you can hear information and you can understand it better in a more organic sort of a way like i'm talking to you so here is the thing if you want if you're if you want to make a better impact through your, uh, through, your, uh, through your offers, to your leads, and you want to really grab that lead and turn it uh, into a subscriber or turn it into a loyal fan, you need to go beyond uh, what everyone else is doing. You need to stand out. You need to be the difference uh, in the marketing. And I would say the best thing to do, uh, do uh, the best thing that can help you do that right now is courses, is a, a visual course. The reason is, Right now, everybody is used to taking online courses. Uh, it's the pandemic time. Even I've been holed up in my home for more than a year now. It's been 1.5 years. I've hardly, you know, like had, had little breaks, but really not resume my regular life. And this is happening to everyone. So people are trying to entertain themselves from their homes. They're trying to learn at home. And they're consuming more videos, more learning content than before. And it's kind of, you know, uh, something that they want to do. They're motivated to do. They're told to do. They're, they're actually, uh, you know, whether if, you, if you look out, look at all the conversation, what people, what people are talking about, it's about uh, watching some video, trying to learn more online. And this is the perfect opportunity to bring that to everyone. Replace your PDF opt-in pages with visual trainings with proper courses with the videos with the quizzes with the tests with the assignments uh, it's very easy to put this uh, together using course funnels it's actually radically easy you can do this within uh, minutes not not even hours if you have the content ready or you have a plr ready it's very easy and like victor said it can be done without spending a lot of money now this is crucial if you're going to grab leads and not just sell something outright uh, if you're going to grab leads, it's it's natural to expect that your every lead is not going to be worth a lot of money. You will need to first grab the leads and then turn them into cash. So maybe you don't want to spend hundred dollars a month uh, upfront, and you want to save some money. So course funnels comes in. It's got actually uh, everything that you need to do to sell a course online or to use a course to grab leads. It's got a landing page builder. 
So you can build your opt-in pages or landing pages using course funnels. There is no need to invest in a third-party landing page builder or buy click funnels, uh, something expensive. You can just use course funnels in build landing page builder for this. There is a course maker, so you can make great quality courses with proper uh, videos, chapters, all sorts of content that you want. And there is also email marketing system inbuilt. So there is a complete autoresponder inbuilt. So when you get your leads, you can they will automatically get their get your sequence, mail sequence, and uh, you don't need to buy a separate autoresponder like Aweber. Right? So overall, it's a great way to save money and also to create some compelling system for your for your uh, visitors, whether you're trying to grab leads or trying to sell something. I think this works very well right now for both of them. That's wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Peter, so what do you think uh, about about what uh, he's talking about there? Well, the, the key thing is always keep it simple, right? Um, make yeah. Don't make things too complicated. Bring it down to the common denominator that people can understand, grasp, and they can get in there and start as quick as possible to get some traction to move forward. I think um, the reason why most people, even myself, I bought something, I haven't used it, is because it was it was either too hard or perceived too hard to get started. And I'm like, Oh, I'll get, I'll get to it someday, but someday is not a day of the week. It just never happens. Right. So, uh, and it just sits there. So, um, to do something and, and to have it available, that's simple and easy to be able to get it rolling and have yourself a course that includes everything. Like the, I didn't even know it had the autoresponder part of it, which is fantastic to be able to have it all encompassed and to be able to, um, get your product up and running really quickly is, is great. It's really great. Yeah, it's, it's all inclusive and it integrates with all these different payment gateways as well. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing is it's it's awesome because as you know, we have the sales masterclass coming up. Mm -hmm. And you know, I've been struggling with this this idea of of um like how are people what are people gonna be selling? And ultimately mm -hmm. these days you have to be selling yourself. You have to be selling your authority. You're not really selling yourself. That's not exactly true. You're selling your authority. But the word authority has the word author in it, which means you need to be an author of something, which means you have to have written an article, you have to have written a blog post, you have to have made a video. To be an authority, you must be an author. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's no way around it. And what's, what's funny is um, a couple of weeks ago, I was a co-host of a best-selling authors international conference with thousands of authors. And you know what? Those people all need courses, all of them, because they wrote a book and then now they have maybe a hundred sales, right? It, you know, and I'm on, a, I'm on a clubhouse right now with a guy that charges about $10,000 to make you a best-selling author and helps you write your books like that. Okay, so let's say you spent $10,000 on being an author how are you going to possibly see a return on that when you're selling a book for at most $25? Everybody I know that is doing that strategy has like a $1,000 or $5,000 back end. I mean, it's just what's so. You know, that's you have to have a master class. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that. Let's be real. Let's We're not trying to hide anything, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. If you want to actually learn how to produce sales, you have to be an authority or you have to borrow authority from someone else. It's, there's no other way around it, right? An affiliate, what you're doing is you're borrowing an authority from someone else. Cyril is an authority. I'm an authority. Peter is an authority. If you're one of our affiliates for one of our products, you're borrowing our authority and you're getting a commission because you're sending a link. I mean, one of the biggest commissions, I, I mean, I, I used to run Facebook ads and I produced a tenfold return on my ad spend by targeting an audience of somebody else who was an authority and I got a commission as an affiliate. People didn't even know. They thought that it was him that was promoting. It wasn't. It was me, right? I was the one behind the scenes promoting that and I made 10 times. I don't, my only regret is that I didn't spend more money on the ad before the launch was over. <laughs> so, so um, hey, one of our one of our students is here from Philadelphia. Good to see you, Accent Webnet, and uh, Cyril. So I prepared a a 
a PowerPoint that's actually now going to go deep into your product and everything like that. And I know it's you're welcome to stay, but I want to get into the formal presentation now. Um, uh, and you have, any, you have any questions for me and Peter before we go into the formal presentation? Uh, my, my connection is breaking down, so I don't know okay. how much I can stay or how it's going to work. How is it working right now? But I think uh, uh, I, I'm excited to see this. I will, I will definitely try to stay and see as much as I can. And uh, if there is any insight, then I will be happy to talk about it. Are you seeing my beautiful background there? Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's like a psychedelic you know, cave. <laughs> I love it. That is my original piano music that I ran through a visualizer and I make music videos about my music. And that is a, a single frame from a 4K video. Wow. That's kind so of it's, a re it's a reflection of the inside of Victor's brain. <laughs> <laughs> and people love it. That's also yeah, like on the header for our YouTube channel. Yeah. So, um, but I love it. You know, it's all about art and creativity. So now mm -hmm. you should see my uh, my PowerPoint. Are you seeing the Sosi yeah. Snap Sales Masterclass? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The evolution of digital marketing. Uh, Okay, so the challenge, okay? We're gonna be talking about the challenge model, the challenger sales model, and why the challenger methodology is what you wanna be doing inside of your marketing today. So here's the link to apply. You go to salesmasterclass.com and Right now, we already know you. We already have your email. We just want to know you're interested. We will be doing a webinar. Today is not that webinar. We are actually giving you value today. We are not selling you the sales masterclass today. We are only sharing with you what you can receive if you choose to apply. So have you heard this famous saying from Zig Ziglar? Every sale has five basic obstacles. No need, no money, no hurry, no desire, and no trust. And then someone else named Bob Berg said, all things being equal, people will do business with and refer business to those people they know, like, and trust. Well, what if both statements simply weren't true anymore today? That's called a challenge. And here's another untrue statement. Funnels make more money. How about I prove it to you that it's simply not true? This morning, I was doing a split test between a funnel for a low ticket offer or the all in grab that now package. And the Grab That Now package sold. So my special guest here tonight is Cyril Jeet. He's a veteran software vendor, creating software since 99. He runs an emerging tech company, creating software products for internet marketing. And many of you, like tens of thousands of you, click through and some of you opted in for this ultimate lead marketing technique webinar. And those of you who are here today and you sign up at the sales masterclass, we, we will make sure that you can get a replay of that. But let me tell you my story. My first course was called Search Traffic Secrets. And I launched it on JVZoo in 2011. I just pulled my sales figures. Online courses make money, right? <laughs> and I was just a beginner. I was just like you. I This was my very first attempt to sell an SEO course on the internet. This is even before I bought the product from Cyril that he made in 2013 called Two Brank G. I was doing SEO. I've actually been doing SEO since 96. Uh, my business partner, Bob Heyman, invented SEO in 95. But as you can see, this is our sales figures. So we made I'd say probably around $5,000 in selling that course during the launch. My second course was called Facebook Relevance and it did even better, but we didn't launch it on JVZoo. We launched it on Pay Kickstart, my friend's platform. In 2018, 
Uh, out of my Facebook relevance course, my friend Cindy approached me. Actually, she was, we weren't friends yet. We didn't even know each other. Uh, one of my friends, Peter, he's in Australia. He referred my course to Cindy and she saw the tool that we created. And she said, hey, why don't we pull this tool out and make a product called uh, Sosi Jam out of it? And it was sold on JVZoo in 2018 and we just did a relaunch in 2020. But it had a low ticket front end with all these upsells. We started the launch at $17 and then we had an upsell. Then we had another upsell. Then we had another upsell. And basically, uh, let me show you the numbers. Uh, so far, we've sold more than 5,000 units. But look at the EPC column. It's only $2 per click. The conversion rate was substantially higher. Let me talk about what that EPC is. It stands for earnings per click. And if you if you take away one thing from today, you absolutely want to understand earnings per click. Earnings per click is important for you as an affiliate and it's important for us as a publisher. It has to do with the lifetime value of a customer, okay? And so it was $24.80 on average over those 5,000 people that was the price for the product. So I'm going to come back on cameras here for a second um, while I fix the slide because we have a typo in it. Actually, let me just go delete that. I can go right back to the slide deck. I don't have to come back on camera. Uh, Peter, are you still seeing my presentation? Is this making sense? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I do. All right. So I just pulled my sales figures this month from SociSnap, which is all in. Instead of splitting the product into three different upsells, we give everyone the full product, just like Cyril is giving the full product on the first sale, and there are no upsells. Our checkout conversion rate is higher. It's... Uh, Five uh, five point one six conversion rate on the sales conversion rate of the checkout. So five point eight percent from the sales page to the checkout. Five point one six percent to the to the checkout to the final. Uh, our our price is sixty nine ninety seven instead of a nineteen dollar with all these upsells. The EPC is almost four times as much. But let me show you the next slide. The value of a happy customer. And this is something that Cyril and I have in common. We value our customers for the long term. Look at that. This is figures from this morning. Okay. Our average customer value is $162, which means that we keep our customers happy. They keep investing in more products after we deliver the value. So instead of upsell, 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 we have a one click purchase the product, instant access, give them value. And then over time, they want to buy more products from us. So I'm proving to you now, when you remove the funnel and you add a one-click checkout with instant commissions, you make three to 10 times more money. Yes, you do <laughs> with no funnel. And see with the sales funnel, all these upsells only added $5 on the bottom line per customer. And so why is that? It's because we're always on YouTube. We're always on social media. We have a thousand affiliates that are promoting our products. We have brand exposure. We're very selective about the products that we promote that are not our own internal products. I do Facebook ads and email marketing. So let me hear a yes from you in the chat or if you're watching the replay, please put a yes in the comments. Do you now see that a great deal is better than a funnel? A great deal will always beat a funnel every single time. Peter, what do you think about that? Yeah, you just uh, a knock your socks off great deal. <laughs> Something <laughs> they can't say no, right? Something that's like, uh, I, I can't not do it, right? Right, and you are our number one affiliate in Soci Jam. Uh, you're our number one affiliate in Soci Snap. Uh, Cyril, I don't know if you're still there. I can't see anymore since I yeah, started. He, he, uh, I, he got cut off, I think. Okay. Yeah. 
it's really late. He, he he said he could only come on for half an hour. But I wanted just to emphasize to you, okay? A great deal is better than a funnel every single time. And so I've had a challenge with that because there are so many people out there. Um, like this morning, you wouldn't believe this, Peter, but I got up at six in the morning because Cyril's webinar was at seven. And then due to technical difficulties, he didn't go live until 925. I could have slept three and a half hours more. <laughs> right? Yeah. But you know what's funny is I had another email come in saying that right now is the legends of digital marketing. Matt Basak himself. I'm going to have a slide on him right now. But let me let me talk to you a little bit about this. Okay. That's what we call a challenger sale. What did I just do? I took your belief, funnels make more money, and I proved it to you it's simply not true. I'm offering a better alternative. I show you that I did it. I can show you here's how I did it. And I can train you to do it too. But it's impossible for us to actually show you how I did it and train you to do it too in a public forum like this. The only way to do that is if we take a small group of people through a series of steps over time and we have to make sure that they, they're they capable of implementation. And that's where we come into the idea of a sales masterclass. And uh, I, I sat down with Peter, I said, you know, I'm struggling because what I see is even some of our best students, they're jumping from offer to offer, Bitcoin deal to Bitcoin deal. And I'm going, oh my God, you guys are not getting it. You're not getting it. And it pains me because you're missing you're missing <laughs> the key. You're missing the key. So I said, Peter, we've got to do a deep dive with a handful of people and literally oversee them doing their marketing as we've done it, right? I've already proven to you that I can two, three, four, five X your current results. But if your current results are zero, what can I do? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're not going to be opening this class even up to people who have zero results. You've got to be able to have some results first. And we still have some time before we close the doors on this. But um, Peter, do you want to talk about how important it is to have results? Yeah, we want to make sure that um, people that are going to be taking this class actually can absorb the information and are able to implement. And they have some kind of a baseline to be able to start from because we've experienced in the past that um, some of the students that have come through previous courses were not available. It's, it's like um, if you have a grade point average to get to this school, but you're accepted to this school, you're going to flounder, right? Sure. If you go to the wrong, you have to match the right school up to the right, uh, right ability to absorb the information and to yeah. implement, right? And so we want to make sure that you're able to do that and you're going to be able to keep up with the pace that we are going to be showing you because we're going to, sh going to show you a lot of different things and ask you to do a lot of different things. So this way you come out and you're going to be proficient in making money. I mean, that's ultimately uh, what our goal is to have you be a great testimonial for, you know, our course. Exactly, Peter. <clears throat> and so the, we've already put an application form up inside of the SociSnap back office. And uh, so I can bring that up and show you where that lives. And if you don't have SociSnap, you can get back to the person who sent you here or just go to SociSnap.com because they've already been cookied and they'll get a commission. But as I showed you, it's a, right now we're running a summer special. It's $69.97. And you can get an upgrade also to, at a 50% discount of my tube relevant course, which is my YouTube strategy on how to generate your first million views on YouTube right through there and then once you're inside the back office you want to click on the link that says sales masterclass app app stands for application <laughs> it doesn't mean that there's an app that we're building on an iphone uh that, that is mm -hmm. right not that kind of you want to go to two lines okay yeah but let me show you what that looks like 
and then we'll get back to the presentation at hand. Okay, are you seeing my screen? Oh, no, let me put that back. No, yet. There we go. All right, so you see the screen right there? Right. Okay, so I'm going to make that full screen, and you see right here it says Sales Masterclass App. It's right on the dashboard. It's right below the tool. There's the Soci Snap tool. This is the Sales Masterclass app. Okay, and you click that link and it brings up a Google form. Okay, if you're seeing this, then you've been invited to, uh, let me just, I'll, I'll keep your cameras off for now. If you're seeing this, then you've been invited to participate in the sales masterclass. I will ask a few questions to see if you have the mindset to qualify for this class. Therefore, please answer the following questions as honestly as possible. If, and this is a big if, most people don't make it all the way through. <laughs> uh, it actually disqualifies you if you answer the question incorrectly. If you make it all the way through to the end, you will be sent my private contact information as well as my latest YouTube training program, the Breakthrough Challenge, which I will be selling for $100, by the way. 10 videos that show you the simplest sales strategy, newly updated for the times we are now living in. I already have your email address. So now would be a good opportunity to give me your business class email address or your best email address that you use to grow your business. What do you think, Peter? Is that good? Yeah, great. <clears throat> awesome. It's a, it's a nice um, perk for them to do it too. Yeah. So that's going to be where you end up. We're going to be sending out this application. And if you don't make it through... I will still send you the breakthrough challenge so that you can go through that training and then reapply. And if you do make it through after watching the training, we'll allow you into the class. But I will warn you, this is an expensive class. This is more than Peter and I charge before. We want to vet every single student. We've done trainings in the past where people paid like $1,000 and then they um, showed up and then we gave them a homework assignment and they didn't come next week with a completion of their homework assignment. The problem with this is we always have to tailor the class to the lowest common denominator. And if there's one person who can't follow along with us, it drags everybody else down and it wastes our time and everyone else. And you can always come to a different class, but this is called a master class. This is not a beginner class. <laughs> this is mm -hmm. a sales mastery class where we will be showing you, I will be showing you the sales strategies that I use for digital marketing. And Peter will show you the sales strategies he uses for network marketing and person to person marketing. Together, we will come up with a sales strategy with the class. We will come up with sales scripts that you can use in qualifying your prospects and also a sales script you can use for a phone sale. And I know, Peter, you've got an outline for this class already. I'm already building an outline. Um, I'm only on slide number 19 right now. Um, this sales master class that I have right here already has 350 slides in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's a refinement from the uh, last few uh, sessions that we've given in previous sales master classes. So, um, Peter, let me pass it back to you and maybe you can summarize this before we get back to the presentation. Well, we'll, the, end, uh, we'll end promptly here. Yeah. Well, the, um, the part that I usually excel in is, is not the technical part of the affiliate side. <clears throat> it's more of the mindset side and the sales side. And with you physically speaking to someone or your connection with someone and uh, what money really is, I mean, what are you really selling? These types of things um, are, is really what I like to uh, teach on and, and, and have you excel on and, and techniques of voice modulation and these types of things that you can, you can use to be able to relate more to your customer and being able to 
things like mirroring and uh, and being able to decide what kind of personality trait is this person so you can alter your presentation to be able to more resonate with that person. These types of things uh, is what I'm going to be talking about in the sales masterclass, more of the person to person type of thing. And also when, if you can kind of connect with someone on a more direct level, that type of thing, and we'll augment that with the affiliate marketing side uh, that Victor's uh, excels at. So um, it's going to be a very well-rounded presentation, and you'll be able to get all different types of ways, methods, and means to be able to grow your business. So um, I'm looking forward to teaching. It's going to be great. Hey, Peter, we have a challenger here. All right. Peter, watch out. I'm coming to take your number one spot in Sosi uh, Snap. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> them, them's fighting words. <laughs> Daniel, I love you, man. <clears throat> if anyone could do it, you're too, you could because you've got the commitment, dedication, and, uh, you know, you've got all the ingredients that I, I believe are necessary for this. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Let's face it. Peter and I have been doing this for more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just listened to Matt Basak uh, today. He was He's the guy who was officially the person who came up with the lead capture page concept, you know, the idea. He created his first lead capture page in 2001. 2001, that's 20 years ago. He made his first million with lead capture pages in 2003. I just sat through a 90-minute presentation where he was selling his course um, you know, it's like $1,500 or something like that. You know, it's great, but they're still teaching the same stuff that they were teaching 20 years ago. It hasn't changed. I, mm -hmm. I, you know, I bought Matt's book 20 years ago before he was famous. I was at a conference and he was, he had a booth and he was, um, he was with one of my clients called the Conscious Life Expo. I think that's where it was. If not, it was one of these other conferences. But I bought his book. I still have an autographed copy of it. And he said something, something really simple, which I still agree with, which is every person needs three websites. You need an authority site that brands you. You need a blogging or an article site that you have content on. And then you need a lead capture page. Okay. But see, he never really upgraded it to the 21st century, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These days, you actually don't need a blog. What you need is a Facebook channel, right? Facebook is a blog. YouTube is a video blog, right? <clears throat> and your opt-in form, you need a course. Boom, right? You need an online course that people register for. And that's what I think is missing from all of this. They still think that you can go get leads from solo ads. I mean, seriously, they're talking about a 30% conversion rate from a solo ad. Never, never happened. I have bought solo ads even recently and we didn't get a 30%. I'm converting at 50 cent leads from Facebook ads. Most of my friends can't even, you know, touch that for less than $5 a lead, right? So once you have this offer down, remember the, the thing we taught you first, a great offer will beat a great funnel every single time, right? Mm -hmm. And people will be shocked because they're expecting that upsell. And when they don't get one, they go, wow, oh my God, I bought something and you didn't pitch me. <laughs> oh my god I a, this is not a pitch fest <laughs> <laughs> he says love you back awesome awesome so so it drives me you know peter you've told me that too as soon as you bought like you know you bought cyril's product this morning and you got the all-in package and guess what there was no upsell well didn't it feel good mm-hmm mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, when I get five or five or six upsells, I'm like, oh, come on, will you please stop? I get started getting pissed after a while, right? And I'm a salesperson, and I expect upsells, but when I get like five or six of them, then I get started getting upset. You know? Yeah, yeah. Now I think that's distinct from an order bump. Like on uh, Soci Snap, we have an order bump, but it's an ethical one because if you pay for the um, 
tube relevance course, you get a 50% discount. So I feel ethically fine with that. And mm -hmm. it also adds more commission to like, Peter, you got a sale this morning of that actually. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, the beauty of it is we, all we have to do is just keep making videos, keep making videos, keep making videos. And all you have to do is send traffic, traffic, traffic. And eventually people will buy Sosi snap because it's become ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. Let me talk about that term ubiquitous. You want to be the uh, ubiquitous brand, right? So when you think social media editor, what do you think of? Sosi snap. That's what you think of. That's, that's the branding, right? It's associated. It's a social media editor that you snap, snap your posts. These are very subtle psychological triggers that allow you to want to buy a product, right? Mm -hmm. And we're getting anywhere from three to 10 new affiliates signing on to SociSnap every single day. And what pains me, it really pains me, <laughs> is that you guys are still trying to market SociSnap with 20-year-old mindset thinking, right? 50-year-old mindset thinking. Hard selling and landing pages and opt-in pages do not work anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Except for people who are already familiar with that way of being. So like if you're selling, um, it's kind of like a snake eating its own tail. If you're a marketer selling to other marketers who are selling to other marketers who are selling to other marketers, then that stuff still works because we're so used to it. We just don't even think about it, right? But the majority of people will be like my friend Peter, who's actually not this Peter right here, but my other friend Peter from the UK, that I simply told him the name of this doctor and he went and got this guy's course and thanked me for it by text the next day. See, that's what you want to be is you want to be uh, the educator, the informer, okay? There's no selling. So uh, let me get back to the presentation. Um, how are you doing on time today? Normally we go a little longer on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you know okay? me, I have a physical issue, so <laughs> I'm constantly adjusting my position here. Okay. So let me get back to the presentation here. I'm going to go record this um, presentation as well. Okay. So we, we mentioned this in the beginning, but another belief that people have is that lead magnets and the free ebook, okay? And who came up with the idea? Well, it was actually Matt Basak. The idea is 20 years old. In 2001, he made his first million in 2003. And the simple idea was give away a free gift like a PDF in exchange for an email address. And the irony is people still believe that this works 20 years later. And as I said before, that only works if you're selling internet marketing to other internet marketers. People are tired of lead magnets. They want a lot more. They won't even blink if they get an online course. Okay. So let me give you, let, let me, let me say that another way. If you're trying to push people toward an opt-in in order to give them a, you know, like a sales video, like, Hey, Give us your email address, we'll send you a sales video. Forget that, okay? Um, hey, join my business, opt in here. Forget that, it's not gonna happen, <laughs> not today. But they will not hesitate if you have a bona fide course online. Uh, let me show you the course. This is from Dr. Berg that I'm listening to. When you go to his online courses, he's very upfront. His Intermittent fasting coach training is $645. Do 
But this course right down here, how to bulletproof your immune system is what he mainly leads with, okay? And you can go there and find it. It looks very professional. And I love this course. I signed up for it myself. How to bulletproof your immune system. But look at the sign up page. When you click take this course, it says insert your email address. You put in your email address, continue with email, or use the quick way, log in with Facebook. Isn't that simple, Peter? Yep. Yeah. Got to keep it easy. Right? So in my company, we took this idea all the way. We just launched at SociSnap. If you click on login or register, with one click, you can log in with Google. With one click, you can log in with Facebook. With one click, you can log in with Amazon. With one click, you can log in with your iPhone or Mac. Or if you don't have any of those four social platforms, you can register with name, email, and password. If you already have an account, you can sign in. Is that cool or what, Peter? Yeah, just give them the options, just click, yeah. And I like how you have the color coordinated there with the actual product. Yeah, that took a lot of time and money. <laughs> I know, because I had to pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna make that available to everyone who's in the sales masterclass, okay? We never made this offer before. If you go to intentionalmentoring.com right now, Peter, mm -hmm. look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Intentionalmentoring.com is now using that. We just launched this where it works in every single thing. And mm -hmm. look, if I click log in with Google, one click, boom, baby. <laughs> what do you think, Peter? Wow, great. <laughs> Sales Masterclass, same thing. It's going to be available to everyone who jumps in here. Uh, this is technology that we built from scratch. We manage it. We only want to roll this out to a handful of people, just a handful. Okay. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I like it. It's nice and clean and, and simple looking. Yeah. So our philosophy, this is my philosophy on sales. A sale is not something you pursue. It's what happens to you while you are immersed in serving others with their needs. And so why should you listen to me? Most of you know me or you know Peter or you know both of us. But you can just Google me and you see I don't have any, you know, I don't have, I'm kind of a low profile guy, but I am a best-selling author. That's me on the cover of Insights Magazine. I've been in this space for more than 25 years, actually 27 years. Uh, I've launched EarthGrid, my search engine, search triggers, my keyword software. I am launch newsletter is my newsletter that I email people. Um, we have over 100,000 subscribers, but recently we're only mailing to the top 5,000 most engaged. And Sosi Snap is my social media editor. It's the social media editor. My earliest mentor, I was 21 years old. I read, met Robert G. Allen, and I went to his sales training on digital. Um, it wasn't digital marketing. It was called direct marketing. I sat next to this guy, you know, Mark Victor Hansen, he was directly to my left and we worked, we were workout partners in the exercises. I knew nothing, absolutely nothing. Neither did Mark at that time. We were studying with this guy, right? Later, I mentored with Jack Canfield when I joined a group called Inter Income Builders International which later became CEO space uh, with my late friend, Bernie Dorman, who just passed away. And then he helped me write a proposal that I faxed to this guy, Bill Gates. And I got a letter back from the office saying, we read your proposal. I want to do a CD-ROM project about the um, 
life of Buckminster Fuller and all of his unpublished books. And they had published Encarta, the encyclopedia. And I wanted to do that. And basically they said, you know what? You've got some great ideas. Why don't you put that online? And so that's what it looked like in um, 94. You had a member ID and a password. You could connect from inside of Windows and you used your dial-up modem. And we were a direct competitor at the time to America Online. And that's what America Online looked in 94. Uh, during that time, I interviewed Deepak Chopra about a dozen times. Same with uh, Jack Canfield. Here's a quote. In uh, 96, this is one of the later of, uh, interviews I did with him. Nothing is truly learned until it is lived. Reason, experience, spirit. Once these come together, the wizard's way is open. The stage is set for alchemy. The wisdom inside you, you will be a spark that once lit, it can never be extinguished. I mean... He dropped some amazing nuggets, and I still have uh, some excerpts of these interviews on the web today. And one of the things he said was take 15 to 20 minutes of quiet time every day. The internet and the technology behind it are going to be responsible for the climactic overthrow of the superstition of materialism. Because the information highway is based on the premise that the essential nature of the material world is that it's not material. It is a hierarchy of states of information and energy. So that's what he said in my event more than 20 years ago, actually like 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's funny that we are now the architects of that future, right? That was in the future then, but that's, the present now. And I became an expert in search engine optimization. 19 years we've been operating EarthGrid. This is what it looked like 19 years ago. I have a screenshot. And it's the same business model. Promote your online business for 10 bucks a month. We do the same thing today when people sign up and they buy search triggers, right? 10 bucks a month, mm -hmm. nine bucks, 99 bucks a year. The business model hasn't changed, right? In 2006, I co-founded Fast Movie with Dan Kotke. He was in the Apple movie and he was the third founder of Apple. He and I had a talk show in Silicon Valley very simple business model. We were way ahead of our time. We were selling films with an affiliate model. Still, that's not being done today by Netflix. It drives me crazy. I want my Netflix affiliate link. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, know, you know how much faster they would grow? Oh, my God. Yeah. But back then, you could buy the movie for five bucks. That gave you eligible. And we paid you a dollar for each friend. And we used one shopping cart. We did this in 2006 and it turned the industry on, on the end because we were the first feature film in high definition anywhere on the internet. So we were a trendsetter. So I've asked this before and please put this in the chat. Who is your favorite celebrity entrepreneur? For me, it's Richard Branson. I was with Peter in 2017 in New York City. We got the chance to meet Richard Branson and, and work with him. So I, I think that's a good place to stop um, for now. Uh, I've got another 310 slides, <laughs> which I'm not going to go through today. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I would like to uh, just get some feedback from you and the audience and, and let me, let, let's see how it is. So what do you think, Peter? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. I, I like that stuff with Deepak Chopra because that's, uh, uh, he was way ahead of his time with that stuff, you know, and uh, a lot of, a lot of the core of, of what he's talking about is, is what I talk about all the time and what I really believe in as well too. So, so, um, so great stuff. Yeah. Love it. 
So we'd like all of you to get back to the person who sent you to this video, whether it was me, whether it was Peter or someone else, and make sure you register at sociesnap.com uh, and then fill out the application for the sales masterclass. It's inside the SociSnap back office. So I'm just going to show you that once again. Um, you go into the SociSnap back office. It's right over here under sales masterclass app. Sales masterclass app right here second link and then that's going to bring up your application just start with your best email and i got a hint for you it's not going to look favorably on me accepting your application if you put in a gmail address <laughs> right you want to put in something like your name at your website okay if you don't have a website, then you want to sign up with Builderall. We're going to have buttons below this where you can do that and get a website. What I love about Builderall is you can get a website, you get an email address at your website, and you get seven days a week someone who will help you and not bother me and Peter to help you with these basic things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you like that part the best. <laughs> I like that part the best. Because I still see people emailing me from Gmail. It's fine. I love Gmail, but that's not for business, right? You can't email from there. It won't pass the DKIM SPF records, not even with, with Google, right? Google wants businesses to be businesses. They want people to be people and don't mix the two, right? Don't mix the two. When you have, like in Google My Business, Give you an SEO tip. I have a meeting with my CPA today in an hour and a half. His email address is his last name at his website.com, right? He's a CPA. He's an attorney. He's a professional. You want to come across as a professional. Does that make sense? Yep. I'm Victor at victorgrant.com. Peter is at peterwolfing.com, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's the email address that we respond to. The other emails, we don't really respond to those. Make sense? Yep. So fill out your application. Pick up Sosi Snap. If you haven't already bought it, please purchase it. That's going to be a prerequisite for you to be in the master class. Um, I don't know what more I can say, Peter. I think I think we're good. I mean, I think we've uh, we've covered everything. And um, what I can say, guys, is that this sales master class is going to be A to Z. And it's going to be very, very all-encompassing to be able to help you to not only make under $100 sales, but the mid-tier sales and the larger sales. So you will never have a problem making sales after you take this, as long as you implement what we're going to be teaching you in the sales masterclass. So uh, let me leave it, leave it at that. Um, feel very, very confident that you guys are going to lo love this course. Awesome, awesome. So... Thank you for being with us. If you have any questions, we'll take them now. Otherwise, we'll um, we'll call it. Oh, and everybody, have yourself a great, great holiday weekend. Oh, is it a holiday weekend? Yeah, Memorial Weekend. Hug a veteran. <laughs> All right, so I have a question for you, Peter. Yeah, sure. If you want to go to West Point, do you mm -hmm. still have to go through boot camp? Well, it's um, well. That's the army side. Um, for officer side, you have to get, I think, a recommendation to get in there. Spe specifically, you can from your congressman or something like that. Uh, very, very selective to get in there. Um, uh -huh. But, uh, but yeah, the if you're going through that, I believe you do have to go through officer, like an officer training slash boot camps, you know, that type of thing. So, because uh, it's necessary, you got to know all the basics and things like that. I would think I would think so, but that's on the army side. So I'm on. What about on the side. marine side? What's the highest echelon for marines? Well, the the you know you have the enlisted, which is you know private on up, and then you have uh, the warrant officers, which is kind of in between the uh, enlisted and the the officers, and then you have the officer side to go to um, 
uh, Quantico or something like that, Virginia. Annapolis, Quantico in that area, right? Wow. So Quantico is uh, military training. I thought that yeah. was like uh, for CIA or, or one well, of those you can other go, you, you get a, got Annapolis. It depends on the type that you're going to. You have Annapolis and you have Quantico and that type of thing. You know, so it depends on the field that you want to get into and so on and what they're going to train you in, you know. But my, then, my question really is, is, is there any way to skip boot camp <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, or anything it, like hell a week or, you know, having to do the push-ups, having to get yeah, up in the morning it's, and uh, it's required. Pound backpack. Yeah. If you don't want to do that, then you probably shouldn't want to go into the military. <laughs> <laughs> did you have to do that? Where oh, yeah, yeah. Backpack? yeah. Oh yeah. We had, yeah, we, we did all of the marching and the push-ups and the calisthenics and, you know, the first week you're there, what the F did I get into? <laughs> <laughs> but then you get used right. to it. You get used to the routine and your, your body builds up the uh, endurance and yeah. the muscles don't hurt as much anymore. And, and we had a um, Marine Corps boot camp is 13 weeks. Um, it, the other serv services aren't even close to that, but 13 weeks. So divided up into thirds. So you're a month, a month and a month. And right. by the time you get into the third part, the third echelon, you're 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 like you're you've already been out into the, what they call the field. You've learned your rifle training. You you've lived in the woods, the whole thing, and you come back and you feel like the you're you're the king of the world because now you're quote unquote I'm a marine now, right? Even though you right, have another right. month to go. So they 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 spend the first month beating you to a pulp, right? You know they have to kind of beat you to a pulp to be able not physically, but beat you to a pulp to get out and push out all of the bad ways that you have all the bad habits and so on and build your muscles up and things like that and, and reprogram you with what they want to teach you. And then you go into honing that and fine tuning that and rifle training and so on. And, uh, in the, the middle tier, you do have a, a week in there that you, they give you like a, a week off where you do kind of manual labor, <laughs> right. but it's, it's a week off from the actual, uh, you know, boot camp stuff. And then by the time you're coming back, you're uh, you, they've kind of filled you up with with you know the, you're proud to be a marine, and then you're uh, you're learning the more advanced stuff later on. So um, it, it's a it, a great system, and it has a lot of uh, benefit to that. And and almost like you know with with affiliate marketing, you you just can't learn stuff. You have to learn the right stuff. So that's why at the beginning they have to push and and get rid of all the stuff that you've learned previously about everything, right? And re, re, re give you the stuff that they feel is going to benefit you just in case you have to go to war, just in case you have to run toward the bullets. And so you don't run away from the bullets, you know. Um, and so we like in sales masterclass, we want to make sure that that you're learning quality information. Like I said, when we first started quality information um, versus just junk information that's out there, fast food information. Right. And um, and so we're going to we're not going to beat you to a pulp. But that's why we're giving we're, we're doing at the beginning. We want to kind of sort and sift a little bit, um, and we want to give everybody a chance to get it get in here. Don't get me wrong. We we want you to come and be part of the class, but we want you at least have a basic of um, of skills and mm -hmm. at least uh, gumption to want to go for it. You're going to do the assignments so that this way we don't have to backtrack all the time. We want to really cover a lot of ground when we do do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I I think. I think the main thing to realize is being online and doing online marketing is more about endurance and persistence mm -hmm. than it is about, a, you know, <clears throat> talent. And adjustments, right. you know, and, and adjusting, you mm -hmm. know, adjusting all of it. Because let's face it, all those algorithms change all the times. The yeah. techniques change all the time. It works this month. It doesn't work next month. And you have to have the persistence and the perseverance, two different words, Persistence, perseverance to be able to adjust and tweak over time and measure and okay, this is not working. Okay, let's let's go into this direction a little bit. Victor and I have gone through that so many times over the last 20 years, you know, that something's really cranking, all of a sudden, what happened? <laughs> what happened? We're doing exactly. the same thing, but all of a sudden it's not working anymore. We're going, what happened? And they changed the algorithms or something happened, you know. So you have to yep. be able to bob and weave and 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 adjust yourself. And we want to teach you how to do that and, and build up your endurance. But also, so once you're not in the sales masterclass, you, you're able to recognize those different types of things and you can actually stand up on your own two feet and get kind of get your sea legs and uh, be able to become a, um, a contributor to the affiliate marketing space. And, um, and and that's what we're striving to do. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. And and I think 
I think what people have to understand is um, let me give you one lesson here that 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 I found to be really really true is um, let's say you have a goal and your goal is to um, to sell a particular product or to create a course. What you want to be doing is you want to do that same. You want to go for it ten times. Okay, most people don't even go for it once. So like. In the last 48 hours, I've created probably five different variations of different emails, split testing things. So I'm about a halfway there, right? I'm going to be doing 10 different variations of something. I know that one of them is going to succeed, right? You want to have that mindset, that attitude that you're willing to do it 10 times and one of them is going to succeed. Even the top marketers on Facebook that I studied with they get a 20%. In other words, two out of every 10 attempts of a campaign is going to succeed. Mm -hmm. And the, the art form is being able to recognize something that's successful against something that's not successful, right? So in the very beginning, we had Cyril on here and I asked him before we started, hey, how's your launch going? And he, he didn't answer, oh, it's going great or it's going well. He said, I'm seeing the indicators that it's going to be a good launch, right? Mm -hmm. Which means that it's it's still early. It launched this morning. There's still mm -hmm. a week left. Mm -hmm. He's looking at the numbers. Right. He looks at the numbers and he says, okay, we've had 200 sales. You know, his target is 2,000. So he's 10% of the first of the way there on, on, a, on a, a weekly long milestone. Mm -hmm. So- I think what you really have to focus on is being really clear with your goals. And that's where this comes in, right? You write down what you want to achieve in a moment when you are in what Deepak Chopra called like an alchemical state. Okay. And for the first 10 people that qualify to be in the sales masterclass, I'm going to give you a course that I created that I'm currently selling for over $2,000 called Alchemical Refinement. This is about, oh, how many weeks was that? 10 weeks? Mm -hmm. yeah, Everything I know about <laughs> digital marketing, it, you know, that is going to be your bonus, okay? <laughs> And that's actually uh, part of uh, another program that, um, it, it, you know, it, it's it's not the only way to get that course. That's about, I don't know, maybe 15 hours worth of training on. This is about the why before the funnel, before the funnel, before the course. OK, this is mm -hmm. this is you remember, Peter, when we were going through that. We had people who were students of ours say that this course was easily worth 3500. You remember that? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So that's going to become a gift for you to be able to watch this training on the weekend while you're getting ready for the next sales masterclass. Mm -hmm. It's 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 all um invisible. It's it's the iceberg that's beneath the water when it comes to sales. Oh, good one. I like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And who wants this thumb drive? Ah. <laughs> What's on that thumb drive? Now, Peter, you you still have some of those boxes? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. With thumb mm -hmm. drives on them? Oh, yeah. All right. So the first 10 people that jump on the sales masterclass they're going to be getting this box right yes nice and this one's empty right now but you know there's a lot of stuff in here <laughs> it's going to be full of stuff your mystery box yeah well yeah. there's books going to be in there there's also going to be a thumb drive do you have one of those thumb drives handy um let me see hold on a second there's multiple gigabytes versus of stuff there uh, here we go. There you go. 
Ja. And aut autographed copy of books by Peter. There it is. Yep. And there's about uh, four hours of training for me in there as well. Yeah, this is this this is is worth everything in the box and then some. But you're gonna get you know books and all sorts of stuff in here too. So right, you know, little fun stuff. <laughs> you know, but um, the the. The, part, the drive is the big thing. This is the big thing right here. Excellent, excellent. All right, so we have 100% likes so far on this. you believe that? All right, so... Uh... Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have 100% likes on our videos so far. We're going live on six Facebook channels and two YouTube mm -hmm. channels. And um, we're going to be boosting this throughout the week. So let me give you guys a preview of what's happening next week. I mm -hmm. guess Monday's a holiday, so we won't be having a webinar then, right? Correct, right, right. So Everybody Tuesday and next Thursday, we're going to go through continuing the sales masterclass. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I have 365 slides. Mm -hmm. And if you go through the breakthrough challenge, some of those slides are inside of that deck. Okay. But I'm updating those slides all the time. That's, let me explain how I made these slides. I, I'm a student of the masters. Like today I was listening to 90 minutes of the master of the opt-in and I was watching his, how he was selling I was watching about how he was doing his thing. And while I disagree with some of the things he says, it's still irrefutable evidence that despite that he's doing an outdated business model that's more than 20 years old, it still works. Because and he's he taking was saying, action. He's making a profit with a 1% uh, sales conversion with a $1 EPC, right? Yeah, because he's a victor, he's taking action. Three That's dollar right. EPC and a four percent sales conversion. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because he's victor. You know why? Because he's taking action, and most people don't take action. Right. So, so even if you're doing something and it's doing it wrong, you're going to get some kind of results. Right. Right. So that's the key thing is do action. Imagine if you did it right. <laughs> imagine <laughs> if you did the right thing and you took action and did it the right way. Imagine what what could happen. I mean, and, it blows my mind. Yeah. Yeah. It totally blows my mind. Yeah. But, you know, the brute force approach does still work. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm still shocked when they show me these numbers. I'm saying my numbers are three times better than yours. And these are the masters of marketing. These are the legends of the digital mm -hmm. marketing space. Mm -hmm. And the only thing they're doing is they're willing to like. Like he was showing me uh, one of the guys today was showing me how they spent. $30,000 on their email list and sending broadcast emails. And I was immediately going, dude, why don't you just buy Builderall? They have mm -hmm. no additional fees, no matter how big your list is. <laughs> and they've got great delivery. Why are you spending $30,000 on sending email through SendGrid? It makes no sense whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But these guys have been doing it, you know, it kind of reminds me of this story. And I, I hate to almost bring this up. Have you seen this one? They say, hey, we, ha we have a, we have a, a Thanksgiving uh, turkey, right? You know, Thanksgiving turkey. You have to bake the Thanksgiving turkey in the oven. And so the grandma <clears throat> has done it this way for a while. And then so the wife is talking about how to bake a Thanksgiving turkey. And they said, okay, you cut this end off right over here. And then you cut that end off right over here and then you stick it in the oven. Okay. And you bake it for four hours. That's how you do a Thanksgiving Turkey. And so the son finally asked the mother, I said, well, why do you cut one end off here? And then the other end off here? He says, you know what? No one's ever asked me that question. 
So she calls up grandma and says, grandma, why do we do that? I said, well, because back in the old country, the ovens were only this big. <laughs> and we, we had to cut it off there because it wouldn't fit in the oven otherwise. Uh, and that's what most of you are doing with your marketing. You don't know that you don't know. <laughs> yeah, just because it's always been done that way doesn't make it the best, most, that way. most effective, most efficient way. Yeah, so build your list. Okay, yeah. But the meaning of a list has changed, right? They say, oh, you're always going to have your email list. No, you don't. As long as your email list is in one of the free email services, you don't have control over whether those services decide to deliver your emails or not, right? There are so many things to learn. And the reality is the only piece you really need to learn is how to sell. Mm -hmm. In these trainings that we do, Peter and I, we're not selling anything. We're sharing our knowledge to our customers. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Everyone who's watching this is already a customer. And if somehow you ended up here and you're not a customer, then that's great because we invite you to become a customer. However, that's not really our goal. Like I said before, a sale is something that happens naturally when you're immersed in serving others with their needs. But you don't want to keep warming people up forever, right? If you keep warming them up and warming them up and warming them up, guess what will happen? we will warm them up and then someone else will come out with a good offer and then they're going to buy that offer. You know, you know, Peter, how many times that's happened to us? Yeah. Yeah. Eventually you have to ask for the money <laughs> at, some <laughs> right. point, at some point. Right. <laughs> so yeah. we're, we're going to have a sales webinar, which will be a sales webinar and there will be a limited time. And of course, preference will be given to people who apply first, but you know, please get your applications mm -hmm. in. Um, I really want you to watch the Breakthrough Challenge. Really, really. This is like one of the best courses that we've given. And it's, it's, it's our gift to you. And we will see you next week, Tuesday mm -hmm. and Thursday, for the, the next installment of this live training. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye, everybody. Have a good weekend.